The six o'clock news from the BBC with Sue Lawley and Philip Hayton. Good evening. The headlines at six o'clock. Mrs. Thatcher has declined for the moment to clear the name of Lord Rothschild to say that he was not a Soviet spy, the so-called fifth man. Five times in the House of Commons this afternoon, the Prime Minister was pressed to clear Lord Rothschild's name and state that the former head of the government's think tank was not a Soviet agent. Five times, Mrs Thatcher declined to do so. Five times, she replied to opposition and Tory MPs alike that the matter was being considered in government, but she had nothing further to add at this stage. The pressure came as a result of a letter from Lord Rothschild published in the Daily Telegraph this morning in which he appeals for a public statement that he is not and never has been a Soviet agent. Roy Hattersley, the deputy Labour leader, called the Prime Minister's response extraordinary and preposterous. He demanded Lord Rothschild's name be cleared. Mrs Thatcher repeated her answer. Mrs Speaker, Lord Rothschild's letter was published this morning. I have seen it. The letter is being considered in government, as it should be, and I cannot add anything further at this stage. I should have thought that the right honourable gentleman would have understood that. Well, that satisfied neither Labour nor Tory MPs. An extraordinary answer stormed Labour's deputy leader, Roy Hattersley. The Prime Minister should make it clear that Lord Rothschild wasn't and never had been a Soviet agent. The Prime Minister again read out her prepared answer to the growing fury of MPs. Putting aside the personal anguish which your answer is bound to cause, Lord Rothschild, Lord Rothschild was the head of the Central Policy Review Staff working in Downing Street for the Right Honourable Gentleman, the member for Beckley Sidcup, when he was Prime Minister. Is the Prime Minister really not prepared to say here and now that Lord Rothschild was not a spy? Yeah. 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 The Right Honourable Gentleman is causing anguish. Lord Rothschild. The letter was published this morning. I have seen it. The letter is being considered in government, and I cannot add anything further at this stage. Mr. Hattersley, in considering, even now, answering this question, will the Right Honourable Lady consider not simply the obligations of general, generous impulses, which she does not possess, but the damage that her answers are doing to the British Security Service? It is preposterous to continue to give the impression that we are infiltrated with moles. Although prominent in public life, Lord Rothschild guards his privacy. A reticent man, for many years involved with highly confidential work at the centre of government, he's had close contact with influential figures, not least in the security services. Anthony Blunt, a close friend whose treachery he found hard to come to terms with. How could you have believed in this person? and admired him, when all the time it was a double life. Well, what's the answer to that question? What is How the matter you? with you? How is it you didn't notice it? What? Mm. There is no 